kind of been going through a transition to allowing her to just cry out cry out <laughs> by herself so that da, 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 da. <laughs> Grandma. And the key to fluffy pancakes. One thing that I've learned that's really helped our marriage is y'all don't all have to enjoy doing the same thing. Basically how I can slowly start to get rid of toxins in my home. I just came here to say praise Jesus I'm making pancakes and the key to fluffy pancakes is baking powder not baking soda because that will make them salty but it's baking powder and you want to use it more than you think because it's just gonna give you the best fluffiest pancakes I am telling you like if you struggled with like flat pancakes add you some baking powder more than you think you need that's it um, yeah Anyway, it's a Saturday morning, so it's super chill. We're making pancakes. I think we're gonna go out to Target later, do some cleaning, and yeah, it's just gonna be a chill weekend vlog. Right, look how fluffy and juicy that pancake is. Come on. Mama, Mia.
right, we're going to Target. Um, well, we're gonna drop off some stuff at Goodwill. I cleaned out my wardrobe. <laughs> and also some of my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, just a boy. I encourage you to get rid of stuff that you just don't love, don't use, create space for more stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna go to Target. Daddy's gonna watch football. One thing that I've learned that's really helped our marriage is y'all don't all have to enjoy doing the same things. We arrived very early on. I liked shopping. Winston did not like shopping. We actually were talking about it in a podcast episode. Negative <laughs> energy. Like, why are we going into this? Because my thing is, I feel like shopping is more of a, for me, let me not speak for all men. Yeah. But for me, it's more of like a to do list. Uh huh. Like, if I say I'm going to go in and pick up three things, I'm picking up three things and I'm leaving. But I think okay. for you, it's like, I'm going to pick up these three things and also mm -hmm. I'm going to walk around. 15 different hours just in case I discover something amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, if you've already driven to the supermarket, I, I'm all for having a list. Trust me, I'll have a list. <laughs> but sometimes you're inspired. Like, you go through an aisle and you're like, wow, like, I didn't know they made pasta out of chickpeas. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't go into that aisle. And sometimes you just <laughs> want to take your time. It's like, my thing is you're shopping anyway. Why not enjoy it? And drop into mm. the moment but i could just feel you breathing like on me like yeah, for me it's, it's like this on the three. list babe no it's not on the dang list but i want it <laughs> like, like the on the weekends sometimes we do stuff together as a family and other times i'll do something by myself or something with malaika and yeah it's just for self-care whatever that looks like and i know shopping is self-care for me but it is not for my husband and that is okay are you gonna miss us oh hell no See you later now. <laughs> See you. She's been So we are back. We didn't get a ton of stuff um, just because we didn't plan to. My main plan for going out was just to donate some stuff. But I'll give you guys a quick haul of what we did get. So from Goodwill, I got this puzzle from Malika. It's a Melissa and Doug one. It's basically like the alphabet and then you kind of like match the stuff up. Um, I got this vintage rolling pin, which I was really wanting to get. And then I just got this basket. I feel like you can... Well, you can, but baskets are really helpful for organizing and I feel like the thrift store is a great place to buy them. Buying them wicker or kind of like this material or even wooden, I find they're just more durable than plastic and they look nicer in my opinion. This is like $2. Um, and then from Target, I really didn't get much, just a couple of grocery bits, but I did get this waistcoat and I've been wanting a waistcoat like for the longest time. And it's, yeah, it's super cute. I got it in an extra large because I want it to like, like button up over my chest. And I got some girls, okay? I <laughs> so yeah, it's really cute. I'll show you guys it's styled when I eventually do wear it. But right now I'm starving. So I'm going to make a quick coffee to fuel me up to make dinner. I pre-seasoned the salmon. We're making salmon bowls and we're just going to put that on. And yeah, that'll be that. <laughs> kind of take away that the, the idea that the wheelchair is a barrier mm -hmm. in any way yeah and so like one of the little simple things that we used to do was i just get you to like sit yeah like just sit on my chair like we 
like squeezing. Yeah. You'd kind of be sitting on my lap and we just sit. Yeah. I agree. I think that goes there. I'll rotate it just a little bit. But you, you, you got the right idea, girl. You got it. Uh, what should we do next? Okay, dinner is almost ready. So I'm just mixing some sweet tea. If you want to know how I do it, I think it will be... I think I showed it at the end of the vlog. Some raspberry and hibiscus tea to this afternoon blend tea. So I just have this little strainer and then I'm gonna put this directly into our kettle. So yeah, that's how I'm doing it. I wish I had it for today because it's been such a warm day. So I'm gonna quickly brew that, let dinner finish cooking, and then yeah, we'll eat and enjoy the rest of our Saturday. Okay, so this is dinner. One of my favorite meals. I wouldn't say it's super, super quick. But it's a fairly easy meal. We've got noodles, teriyaki slash barbecue salmon, cucumbers, some red onion, and then also some cabbage, which I pickled a couple of weeks ago. And it goes great with salmon balls. So yeah, we are gonna enjoy this and uh, oh. Time to heat. Okay, let's take your earrings out. <coughs> okay, we're just taking our earrings out. <coughs> it's okay. And they go in here. Oh, we'll put down this jewel away. Should we pick this one? Pajamas. Purple. Purple pajamas. Okay. Yeah. Now turn your light on. <laughs> Good job. been a good day it's been nice it's been a really really chill Saturday which is what we needed this week wasn't too crazy busy but just because my mum left on Monday see you grandma We're kind of readjusting to having one less 
adult to kind of like help out with things but it's been good but we just needed like a chill day and like has gone down to sleep now um and i think i mentioned in the last vlog or maybe a couple of vlogs ago that i wanted to try branch basics and they're basically a non-toxing cleaning company this video isn't sponsored but i have done a ton of research on basically how i can slowly start to get rid of toxins in my home for several reasons number one um, as women, we are so sensitive to endocrine disruptors and toxins play such a massive impact in that it affects, you know, our hormones, everything from our menstrual cycle to, um, you know, fertility, like so many different things. And then secondly to just having like a young child um, in the home, we've all had like horrible stories about a toddler or a child getting their hands on like toxic cleaning products like bleach and that just doesn't sit right with me. Like I know you can put something up, you know, in a high cupboard, but I just, if something is strong enough that even if a drop of it is ingested can cause like such issues, then I'd rather like not have that you know i'd rather like not have that in my home unless i absolutely absolutely need to so branch basics is a great company that kind of provide non-toxic cleaning products um they have a ton of really useful information on their website too on their blog so you should definitely check it out um but i got the premium starter kit so i want to show you guys everything that's in it because i am going to do a bit of cleaning tonight before sunday which is our sabbath or the day that we kind of like rest and basically do as close to nothing as possible so yeah i wanted to show you guys everything that was in the kit and also set up the bottles they have a concentrate that you kind of have to put different quantities in depending on like what you're using it for so let's go ahead and set this up i encourage you to as well just to it can feel overwhelming to kind of like start looking into non-toxic products but just pick one area of your life that you want to look for a less toxic alternative to for me if you don't know i feel like i have mentioned it but with period products i use a menstrual cup or a disc and period pads from the brand assault um, and they're completely non-toxic um, and it's just yeah just pick one area because it really does have such an effect on our health i can't emphasize it enough it doesn't have to be all or nothing you can start with where you're at and for me as a homemaker i spend a lot of time cleaning so that's an area that i feel confident to tackle now especially because branch basics make it so easy they pretty much have what you need to clean your clothes um your kitchen your bathroom everything um i'm also going to try out their detergent on some cloth diapers that i need to watch tonight so i'll update you guys on the effectiveness over the like coming weeks but for now let's go ahead and set up my little kit <laughs> purifier attached to our fridge so i'll go ahead and do that there but yeah this is basically everything um so you have like all purpose window cleaner bathroom cleaner and then laundry laundry detergent as well so yeah i can't wait <laughs> this is everything that i got and then the bottles come with like instructions on how many parts water to mix and how many parts of the concentrate to mix and this stuff is you can use it to clean your clothes you can even use it to clean food if you use a drop so yeah i'm really excited to try it so we're gonna get it all set up and yeah give this a go i'm really excited because i've been wanting to kind of detox and slowly phase out some of the toxic products i used to clean my home um just so i have more peace of mind about what i'm using so yeah Okay, so we are all set. Um, a little bit of this really does go a long way. It tells you how much of each you get here. So I've got my bathroom cleaner here. I have my window slash glass cleaner here. I have my all-purpose cleaner here. And then I have the laundry detergent, which this is honestly what I am most curious about to see. Because it's, it's like, a third water and then the rest is like the concentrate so i'm really really curious to see how that does with the cloth diapers and then the oxygen boosts 
which helps as well which I will be using with the cloth diapers and then you can also do like a foaming wash which I, I didn't fill it yet because I have some that I need to use um, but yeah I'm excited to see <laughs> A scooper in there, I could have feel it. <laughs> I'm using two scoops of the oxygen booze, putting a scoop of the detergent, detergent bit. Just gonna add my diapers in. I'm gonna put that on a cold rinse. spray has worked really well on the counters um, I have like a couple of tough spots on my cooker so I'm gonna try leaving the oxygen boost with the concentrate on that for like a little bit and see how that does um, but so far I'm so impressed with the all-purpose like my counters feel really really clear and when I'm cooking I just cook so they were dirty so so far so good I'm so excited like if I have found a non-toxic solution I can use throughout my home then I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning and I don't have to spend two weeks waiting for um, my lemon pill to do its thing. So, Malaka's finally asleep. Kind of been going through a transition, re-transition to allowing her to just sleep it out. Cry out. <laughs> Cry out by herself. So, yeah. she was in a really good place with her routines and everything, but because we've had grandma here, mm -hmm. and we've also been sleeping at random times. It's kind of affected her routine and I was staying in the bed with her a lot also the last couple of months so now we just need to go back to something that feels a little bit more sustainable. Yes. So this first few days since grandma left we're just gonna allow her to figure it out back to where she was before. Yeah. But tonight she did really good. I did stay with her a bit longer tonight, but she fell asleep real quick by herself. So yeah, I and think she she's getting better. For long. I think that's an encouragement to other parents too who might be yeah, still training. True. Like the first night, maybe even the first three nights, it will feel like, what am I doing? Is this the right thing? But by the fourth night, like literally, she'll maybe like cry a bit for like two minutes, three minutes when we initially leave, and then she's asleep. And I think every parent is like different obviously like with cry out we do check on her like make sure she's okay um but yeah. it gives her the ability to self-soothe herself without needing like one of us there and it means she doesn't get to the point where she's like because sometimes when she sees one of us she thinks like oh it's time to play or whatever but really she's tired so it means she's less likely to get to that overtired point and yeah she can just kind of like settle herself to sleep um yeah, it, it probably feels like a long time to a parent yes. hearing the child cry, but we're literally talking 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's like the first. Yeah, that's few like what, yeah, the first nights that were really, really rough. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just keep an eye on her on the monitor as well. Yeah. So we can see everything that she's doing. She's okay. And we're also getting rid of the binky this and week. And we're also getting rid of the, the passy this week. Mm -hmm. So she's, gonna be a... she's growing up. 
she's growing up so that's going to be another yeah and to be thing. honest i feel like the past like even during the day like she barely like it's more actually us who needs to get into the habit of like okay if she's like fussing or whatever give her a different activity to do because she doesn't really need it to soothe like now no um, most of the time she'll just hold it in her hand actually yeah she'll just kind of like so hold like, it so i think we'll transition to like a stuffy or um like yeah. a little blankie that she can kind of have um yeah we just feel like she's ready i don't have like a big deal with like passes i know some people are, oh if the child gets to say like, for us it's just we just feel like she doesn't need it anymore and we yeah, want she's her to, it. yeah so yeah we want her to be able to like be able to soothe and relax without without things just basically yeah yeah so nice. yeah it's, it's... it just feels like it's time Little girls growing up. Yeah, I'm gonna prepare Malika's oats for the week, and then I think yeah. that's the last thing that I'll do, and then we'll call it a night. Yeah, tomorrow's our Sabbath, our rest day. So if we vlogged, it would be pretty boring. We basically do nothing. We just relax. Maybe do like a little bit of planning, but really it's just family time. We're still looking for like a local church since we moved. Um, that we can really get integrated in. We love small churches. So yeah, but there's it. There's it, that's the plan. Taking it easy and hope you manage to uh, get a break and get some time to recharge as well. Exactly. Wherever you're watching this. Yes, and let us know if you want an updated how we plan our week slash month slash quarter video because we haven't done one of those in a while no and we've kind of refined the process to make it a little bit quicker so yeah i think it might be worth sharing again but let us know if you want to see it let us know uh yeah let me quickly prep my life with oats i just put them into like little bowls and then it just makes it easy to add milk and microwave in the morning so that's pretty much what she has every day and then that's it ready huh you hear your heart bro finished good night <laughs> Meal, um, and yeah, I just also top it off with fruit as well. You guys are 